Aloha, everyone. My name Stitch. Today on the show, Home Media Reviews, we're going to cover my first theatrical debut. That's right. Stitch had his own movie called Lilo and Stitch, starring me. <laughs> that doing that voice really hurts my throat. Jeez, I need water. But as I said, hello everybody. Welcome back to Home Media Reviews. Today's episode is indeed on the animated film known as Lilo and Stitch. But before we get into that, if you remember last week, or the week previous to that, we didn't actually have a show last week, because I was on vacation then. Uh, I had a uh, Stitch plushie that I talked about in the little audio segment. You should see a picture of it on your screen right now. Um, And I wanted to see if I could get it to work, and I did. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn him on here. I know you can talk. I know you too. Oh, you're gonna interrupt me. <laughs> wow. Sing a song. Are you hungry? I love you. N- nope, not into that. I love you too. I didn't say that. <laughs> I think he's trolling me. Alright, so now I'm gonna turn him off here. What do you want? What do you want? Yeah, so am I. Ohana means family. And family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. That's very true. I'm busy. Get lost. All right. He's a talkative little guy. He's one of those plushies that if you talk to it, it'll talk back to you. It basically recognizes, like, voice. I don't think it recognizes what you're saying, but it, it, but it recognizes that you're talking back to it. So uh, he's turned off right now. But that thing is cool. I've had it since I was a kid. And I'm glad it still works. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the history section of Lilo and Stitch. So compared to two weeks ago with Jaws, we have a much shorter history section. So Lilo and Stitch was first seen in theaters, of course, on June 16th, 2002. Its original DVD release was on December 3rd, 2002. I have no idea if there was a VHS of this or not. I could not find any information on this, if there was a VHS or not. It was the early 2000s, so I'm assuming that there is, but then again, I have no idea. So if anyone wants to tell me in the comments if there was one, tell me, because I couldn't find any evidence saying that there was one. And it would be a long time before Lilo and Stitch got reprinted. Uh, There was a two-disc version of this DVD basically containing more bonus content. This was known as the Big Wave Edition, and that came out in March of 2009, so about seven years there. Lilo and Stitch would then make its way to Blu-ray a couple years later in a three-disc set in June of 2013. Now, what makes this set unique is this includes Lilo and Stitch 2. Stitch has a glitch which was the direct-to-DVD sequel for Lilo and Stitch. Disney did that a lot back in the day with direct-to-video sequels and such. There were like two Cinderella sequels. There was a Little Mermaid 2. There was Hunchback of Notre Dame 2. There were two Aladdin sequels. They were cash grabs, and they're all terrible, including Stitch as a Glitch. That movie sucks. There was yet another version released on Blu-ray of Lilo and Stitch, and this was released in January of 2017, and this also included Stitch Has a Glitch, and this one also came with a digital HD copy. First time that ever happened. However, we have one more date here, not for the U.S. I know. Crazy. I'm only supposed to cover U.S. stuff here, but in this case, I own this, and we're going to take a look at this in the close-up section. This is the U.K. Steelbook of Lilo and Stitch, and this came out in April of 2017 over across the pond in England. As I said, I own this. We'll be taking a look at it in the close-up. Speaking of the close-up, let's move to that right now. Right, everyone, here's your close-up look at Lilo and Stitch. We're going to start off with the a re- original DVD release from way back in the day. Walt Disney... What's that say? 
uh, Walt Disney Pictures Presents, sorry, I cannot read, Lilo and Stitch there with your poster art. Funny, sassy, and original says, ooh, Roger Ebert. Roger Ebert liked this. Yay, because I really like this too. I think it's incredibly underrated. But this poster art is really nice. There's the THX logo down there at the bottom, along with Disney DVD down there as well. The side has that same Disney DVD logo. Lilo and Stitch with Stitch down there and a little button with a product number. Same Stitch face as on the cover. The back, UPC code, Disney's new animated comedy, Crackles and Cackles with Laughter and Spunk, Gene Chalette from today. I don't know who that is, but he's from NBC, the National Broadcasters of Communism, so we all know he can't be trusted. Stitch there on a surfboard with your bonus features listed underneath him, along with technical specifications. Some screenshots from the movie. And some legalese and stuff down there at the bottom, because your tech specs are over here. All that good stuff. Open this up. I don't remember if there was an insert or anything. If there was, I lost it years ago. There's your disc. It's pretty nice. I really like that artwork. It's, it's nostalgic for me. So that's not the only copy of Lilo and Stitch I have to show you. I know I live in the U.S., and the show is basically U.S.-based in terms of Release it. But of course that doesn't mean we might look at something from, oh, possibly in the UK or something like that on the show every now and then. I was looking on eBay one day and I thought, hey, why don't I upgrade Lilo and Stitch to Blu-ray? And all the US Blu-rays I saw were like 30, 40, sometimes $50. I was like, I am not paying that for Lilo and Stitch on Blu-ray. It's not worth it. Then I came across a seller who was based in the U.S., but had a copy of a steelbook that had been imported from the U.K. That's what we're going to take a look at today. This is Lilo and Stitch on steelbook from the U.K. Got your Disney logo up there at the top. Lilo and Stitch. The same poster art is from the U.S. DVD release. Bottom includes your U.K. ratings, as well as the Disney Blu-ray logo. The side, regular Blu-ray logo that we're familiar with over here in the U.S. Disney, Lilo and Stitch again. Disney Classics number 41. I'm guessing this is like a steelbook line that you can pick up over in the U.K. I don't know. I don't live in the U.K., so I guess that's what that is. Same ratings as those from the front. The back, Disney's 41st animated classic. There's your blurb about the film. This for sure was only used in promotional material, except I think this might have happened during the credits. I don't I don't remember. It's been a while since I've watched this, even though I love it. One disc, Blu-ray plus bonus features. And here are your bonus features listed over here. Kind of hard to read, though. They're a little small. And there's your technical specifications down there, along with the Disney logo. And then down here, more about the UK ratings. Universal rated U for... You know, for universal audiences and G fit for viewing by persons generally. G is basically the same G as over here in the US and universal basically means hey it's a kids movie anybody can watch it. However you may have noticed that hey wait a minute steelbooks usually don't have information on the back. What's going on with this? Watch this ladies and gentlemen. What? This is a fake back. Well not really a fake back it's I don't know what you would call this. I know that um, Nathan Butler from from the Star Wars Home v Video Library usually calls these cups, but I don't want to take that term or phrase from him. So these are basically like those little cardboard things that slip over uh, steel b books over here in, in the U.S. I guess you could call that like a cup or something. But here's what the steel book looks like without that. Side without it, and then the back without it is Stitch and David surfing the surfing the waves. You also might be w wondering why this cover looks a little weird. That's because this is a lenticular cover. Look at that. And what's even cooler about it is it looks kind of it looks almost three 
D-ish if you're looking at it in person, and it's a magnet. If we peel off the front here, don't worry, it's supposed to do this. Look at that, it comes off. It's a magnet. Then there's what the front cover looks like without the lenticular cover on it. You can tell it's slightly indented, so you know exactly where to put the magnet when you want to put it back on. Open this up. You get some artwork on the inside, same artwork as on the back of the cup thing. And then there's your Blu-ray, just a standard blue, which is common with most Disney releases. And if we take it off, take it out of the case, there's no artwork on the inside of it. And you can also tell this is a legit Steelbook. You have the Steelbook logo right there. Steelbook is a brand. It's not like just what people call these things. It's an actual brand. It's a company and all that stuff. And the way you can know if it's a legit one is if they have the little logo right there. That's the Lilo & Stitch uh, UK Steelbook. I rather enjoy it. It's very nice. Now before we move on to the menu tour, I want to address the screaming fans out there saying, No, oh, wait a minute, Lego Lover, that's a UK release. You always say UK stuff can't play here in the US because it's region locked. How exactly can you do a menu tour on that? Calm down for a second. I'll explain. Blu-rays are region free, meaning that they can play in any region. If I bought Lilo & Stitch on DVD from the UK, well, that format is region locked. Pretty sure DVDs in the UK are Region 2, while we over here in the US and Canada are Region 1, meaning that UK DVDs can't play over here in the US without a Region Free player. Blu-rays, however, Region Free, they'll play anywhere. So that is the close-up. Let's go ahead and transition into our menu tour for Lilo & Stitch. All right, everybody, here's your menu tour for the DVD version of Lilo & Stitch. Starting off here, we have play, sneak peeks, setup, bonus, and scene selection. Sneak peeks, I'm pretty sure if you select that, it'll just play the trailers that play before this. Let's try it. Oh, no, we actually have a separate menu for that. That's uh, pretty cool, I guess. Wow, we have a lot of trailers on here. Sneak peeks include Jungle Book 2, The Country Bears, Atlantis, Milo's Return, 101, Dalmatians 2, Patches, London, Adventure, Inspector Gadget 2, Stitch's new movie, Sleeping Beauty, Walt Disney World, and Kim Possible. That little symbol down there that's lighting up purple right now, that just means go back to the menu. A ton of trailers on here for upcoming Disney stuff. Mostly animated, although Country Bears was live action, but I heard that sucked. Setup, what do we have for audio options? And subtitle options as well. Captions, spoken language. We can also uh, optimize this disc for a THX sound system, which we do not have here in the LEGO Lover 117 household. Captions only have two options, English for the hearing impaired or none. So just one option for that. And spoken languages, English, French, and Spanish. I am getting Thomas and Friends Home Media Reviews flashbacks right now, just reading that. We also have a option to return to the film. If we were watching it, wanted to change the audio options. Bonus Without bonus material, I can't talk. Disneypedia, Hawaii, the Islands of Aloha. I guess that's talking about the real Hawaii. Create your own alien experiment game. That game was fun. I played that a lot as a kid. That's a fun thing on here. A Stitch in Time, follow Stitch through the, through the Disney years. That's also pretty funny. It basically is a little featurette about how Stitch um, is walking through the old animated Disney classics, and he's like animated into several scenes from those classic movies. That's hilarious. Got a hula lesson, Young Voices of Hawaii, and Burning Love. That is a music video. Or no, that's a behind the scenes with Winona. Maybe that's also a music video as well. Register your DVD. I don't know what that is. That play option, I'm assuming, means return to the film, but we're going to go back to the menu. And scene selection is our final option for this disc. So we have all our scenes here in this little menu. And we have 30 of them to choose from. So that's your menu tour for the DVD version of Lilo & Stitch. Let's transition to the Blu-ray menu next. Alrighty everybody, here's your menu tour for the Steelbook of Lilo & Stitch. You can't even see that because I have lost 
all natural light. It is, what time is it now? It's 7.30 now, and the sun has gone down. No natural light. This is actually a couple days after I shot the um, close-up for any of you guys that are wondering. Because for some reason, I'm going to tell you guys a story. For some odd reason, my Xbox, which is an Xbox One S, in case anybody was wondering. For some reason, it would not load the Lilo & Stitch Blu-ray. And I still don't know why. Tonight, I was going to watch Christopher Robin again, because I hadn't seen that since theaters, and I thought, hey, why not go ahead and pop in Lilo & Stitch, see if it works. I was going to shoot this menu tour on my other Blu-ray player that's in another room, on another, on an, on another TV, because I know that one works. But I popped in Lilo & Stitch just to see if it would work, and it works. I don't know why. I don't know why that random day the Blu-ray just decided not to work, or the Xbox just decided not to read it, but... I'm taking advantage of this opportunity now. Again, very strange on why it didn't work the first time I tried to pop it in. I don't know, maybe the Xbox just kind of flipped out or something. Now, maybe it's used to it. Whatever though, let's jump into the menu too where we have play, bonus features, scene selection set up, and sneak peeks. Pretty cool menu actually, not as cool as the DVD's menu. Now that I'm thinking back, yeah, one good thing I can say about the DVD, the menu was pretty dynamic. Bonus features, what do we have? Enter Digitals? I'm not sure what that's parroting. I know it's teaser trailers, but I'm not sure what that's parroting, though. The look of Lilo and Stitch, music, a stitch in time, animating the hula, deleted scenes in early versions, and info. So there's no games on this, which is interesting. There were, there was that creating the experiment game on the DVD, but I guess the UK just hates fun, so they didn't put any games on this. Scene selection. Same scenes as on the DVD, just in better picture quality. And I'm assuming it's the same amount of scenes as on the DVD. Setup, languages and subtitles. What kind of languages do we have? English, uh, 5.1 uh, DTS HD Master. Uh, English Descriptive Audio, 2.0. French, 5.1. Castellano, which is Spanish, 5.1. Netherlands, Vlaams. <laughs> I'm sorry if I butchered that. I don't know what that is. Katala. I'm not sure what that is either. A lot of languages on here. Not a lot of subtitles, though. We just have English, French, Castellano, and Netherlands. None of that other crap from the languages section. Sneak peeks. This will just play the trailers throughout that play before this. I don't know what trailers are on this because I didn't care to watch the trailers. Anyway, my camera is my camera battery is blinking at me, which means it's almost dead. So that's the menu tour for Lilo and Stitch. Let's go ahead and transition back and answer the five main questions as always. All right, so we're back from the close-up. Now it's time to answer the five main questions as always. Number one, where can you pick this product up? I haven't seen Lilo and Stitch on shelves in years, at least not anywhere. I haven't seen Lilo and Stitch on major retailer shelves in years. As a matter of fact, I think this movie has really been forgotten and that's really a shame yeah it has its fans out there it has a lot of merch but i don't think people remember this first film i think that they rem remember just the character of stitch they don't remember what movie he's from or that he got his own film but that's really more question three territory so for question one where can you pick this product up online retailers number two is this product still being printed nowadays I'm going to say no to this since there hasn't been a recent reprint of Lilo and Stitch on Blu-ray here in the U.S. Number three, should you pick this product up? Yeah, I recommend this film, of course. Why would it not? Why would it be included here if I didn't? It not only has a really good sci-fi element with its alien world, of course. Stitch is an alien experiment created by a Russian scientist, kind of, named Dr. Jumba Jukiba. Don't know why I said it's so weird there, but this movie has a really good alien world. It's really fleshed out, actually. It has a ton of really great creature d d designs with how it makes its aliens look. It, it doesn't look like it's trying to copy Star Wars or, or Star Trek or anything that was really large with the alien worlds back then. It looks like its own thing, and I really appreciate that. Now, personally, coming from me, I like the alien stuff more than the stuff on Earth. I wish we got more of that. We did in a later sequel, but I like the alien stuff more. However, the stuff with the humans and Lilo and Nani and such, 
really damn good. I mean, really good. This is a broken family that's being brought together by an alien, and the film pulls that off. It makes you feel for this little girl in Lilo. And of course, Stitch himself, one of the title characters of this movie, he and Lilo have such a great back and forth relationship as Lilo tries to get him accustomed to Earth life, but Stitch is like, no, no, me want to destroy, me program to destroy, and you know, all that stuff. It's just such a good dynamic between the characters. I really don't have that much else to say about the movie. I really enjoy it. I like its animation style. It looks beautiful with the watercolor backgrounds as opposed to its fully 2D animated character models. Really like the alien stuff, really like the human stuff. I think it all blends really, really well, and I highly recommend it. It's an underrated Disney animated film. A lot of people are like, oh, the Disney animated classics, you know, like Cinderella, Little Mermaid, Sleeping Beauty, all that stuff. But no one ever talks about Lilo and Stitch anymore. Like, what happened to this? It just kind of fades out. Like, after the TV show ended, no one talks about it anymore. And I wish people would, because it's really good. And like I said, the character of Stitch is still around in pop culture. There's still, you know, a lot of Stitch merchandise out there, but... Not merch for the film or not merch from the TV show, just merch for the character. And that, I see, is kind of a downside because the film itself has mainly been forgotten. Stitch himself remains alive in pop culture, but his movie and his TV show that he came from and all that, that's kind of fallen by the wayside. And that's upsetting to me because this movie's really good. Before we move on, I guess I'll give a little review for each of the other sequels because we had three sequels to Lilo and Stitch. We had... Um, Lilo and Stitch 2, Stitch has a glitch, which I own and I don't like in the slightest. We had the pilot for the TV series called Stitch the Movie. As a television pilot, works just fine. As a standalone movie, doesn't work as good. And then we had the finale to the TV series, Leroy and Stitch, which I think is my second favorite compared to Lilo and Stitch. This is a great series finale for a television show. Also, the, uh, Lilo and Stitch television series, underrated cartoon series, really good. I wish we would get some U.S. releases for that cartoon series. The only episodes we have for that r released here in the U.S. are a part of a DVD game, and there's an ep episode found on the, on the Leroy and Stitch DVD. But other than that, no full complete series released here in the U.S. Japan, I think, got some full season sets, or at least some episodes Put out on physical media. I wish they do that here in the U.S. Number four, where should you pick this product up? I'd look on eBay, honestly. I think Amazon has really jacked up the price for just the standard Blu-ray here in the U.S., so I would look primarily on eBay for your copy if you want to get one. And number five, what price should you pay? That original DVD r release has some great bonus features on it, and I would recommend picking up that one just for that bonus content. I don't think a lot of it shows up on the Blu-ray. I'll have to go back and look at the special features again, but I don't think a lot of that stuff shows up on the Blu-ray, so and I'd say that DVD's worth about 10 to 15. The Blu-ray, though, since I own the uh, UK Steelbook, I paid about $25 for my Steelbook, so 25 is about what that's worth, I would say. No more than that. For the standard Blu-rays that in include Stitch Has a Glitch and such, 20 25 for those. They're not rare, they're just uncommon. I don't think a lot of people purchased th th them when they first came out, and thus there are less of them on the secondary market nowadays. So I would say 20 25 for the Blu rays, um, 25 maybe even 30 for the Steelbook. The Steelbook is really nice, I really like it. That's the home media review on Lilo and Stitch. I didn't have as much to say about this one, it's a very I wouldn't say simple movie, it has a lot of themes going on in it, but it's a pretty quick and easy watch, and I think you'll enjoy it if you check it out. Again, one of my personal all-time favorite animated films. So next week, we'll be covering another one of my favorite animated films. However, this one is 3D CGI animated, and it involves probably the greatest cinematic character ever created, known as Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Okay, maybe not the greatest cinematic character, but one of the few great cinematic characters. We're talking Cars next week. Probably the most controversial Pixar film. And I have some controversial opinions on Cars. I hope you guys can join me for that. I'll see you guys then. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, 
Good night, everybody.